It was a busy, bustling day on the island of Sodor. All over the island, steam engines and diesel engines were happily working together. Sir Topham Hatt came to see Thomas. The quarry has an important order to fill, said Sir Topham Hatt. I need an engine that is both useful and reliable. I won't let you down, sir, whistled Thomas proudly. But when Thomas arrived at the quarry, he had a nasty surprise. Oh, it's you, Oil Diesel. What are you doing here? I'm here to help Mavis, puffed Thomas proudly. Steamies can't help, not like a diesel. That's not true, said Thomas crossly, and he began working at once. But Diesel was soon up to his old tricks. First, he shunted Thomas under the hopper. Cinders and ashes, spluttered Thomas. Then, when Thomas let off steam, Diesel sniffed loudly. What's that horrible smell, he cried. Oh, it's just a stinky old steamy engine. How rude, exclaimed Thomas. No wonder Sir Topham Hatt is thinking of scrapping steamies. I don't believe you, huffed Thomas. But he was upset. That night, Thomas stayed at the quarry. But he couldn't sleep. What if Diesel is right, Thomas said sadly. What if Sir Topham had scraps all of us? Thomas was worried. The next day, Salty had arrived. Ahoy there, me hearties! Fresh diesel from the mainland! After he had been refueled, Diesel's engine started to rev faster and faster. Ha ha, he chuckled. This new fuel makes my axles tingle. Coal doesn't make my axles tingle, sighed Thomas. I wish I could have fresh fuel. Even Mavis was excited by the new fuel. Oh my, she said. Thomas was feeling left out. Soon Diesel was showing off. I'm the fastest engine in the world, he boasted. Look at me go! Suddenly, Diesel's engine coughed. Then it started to splutter. Black, smelly smoke billowed from his exhaust. <laughs> I feel sick, wailed Diesel. Mavis started billowing smoke too. So do I, she groaned. The quarry manager was upset. It's the new fuel, he cried. Water must have leaked into the tanks. Soon all the other diesels had broken down. Ari, Bert, and even Salty had ground to a halt. So Sir Topham Hatt telephoned the quarry manager. And the quarry manager came to see Thomas. You are to collect fresh diesel from the fuel depot. Right away, sir, whistled Thomas. And he steamed out of the quarry as fast as he could. At last, he arrived at the fuel depot. Give me all the clean fuel you've got, Thomas cried. This is an emergency. We'll soon have you loaded, said the workman. Thomas was soon loaded with trucks carrying fuel drums. The fuel drums were very heavy. Thomas pushed with all his might. His pistons creaked and his wheels squeaked, but he kept on puffing. Thomas trundled all over the island with fresh fuel for everybody. For Salty, 
for Ari and for Bert. Thomas was feeling very tired, but he still had one more delivery to make. At the quarry, all work had stopped. Diesel was as green as a leaf. Mavis was feeling very glum. Then they heard a wonderful noise. It was Thomas! He steamed into the quarry with one final puff. I made it, he cried. Mavis and Diesel had all the bad fuel drained out of their engines, and all the good clean fuel poured in. Marvelous, sighed Diesel. Thank you, Thomas, purred Mavis. Soon the quarry was clattering with the sound of work. And finally, the important job was done. Sir Topham had arrived on board Percy. Well done, Thomas, boomed Sir Topham Hatt. You have saved the day. You are a really useful engine and a credit to the railway. Thank you, sir, puffed Thomas proudly. And even Diesel had to admit that Thomas is a very special engine. Even if he is a steamy.